I've been living in the village for two weeks now, and with the fields cleared and ready for planting, the villagers are preparing for the Aran festival. My brother Lulu is off to the forest to set traps. He's after an Adi favorite, rat. Rodents are abundant in the dense forest, and they play an important part in many Adi rituals. I have to do my bit too, so the gam takes me to the forest to give me a lesson in Adi trapping. Ah. Perfect. So this is like, um, this is a stick that's just been put in, just to make a, a walkway between these two gaps, so that the squirrel, rather than coming onto the ground, can just walk along, but of course as he does walk along, hey presto. Mm. He's a goner. Yeah. The Addis set snare traps for deer. <laughs> so that's what happens in a snare trap. This trap can be enlarged to catch deer or wild boar. But few people seem to do it these days. The shotgun has arrived in Jorsing and has replaced traditional ways of bagging the big game. And this is for what? This is for deer. For deer? And uh, tiger. Tiger. Tomorrow, I'll be joining my guy Tajir, my brother Lulu, and some of his friends on a two day hunting trip to get meat for the Aran festival. But before we go hunting, we must get a prediction from the Miri. The Addis believe that by contacting the spirit world, the Miri can see into the future. Though it seems hard to believe that a leaf can tell the future, I find myself being drawn into the Miri's world. I don't know what you said, but... said, <laughs> 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 the other hunters are all taking guns, but I've opted for a traditional bow with poison-tipped arrows. <laughs> So this is it, we're off now, there's a whole gang of us. This is our big hunt before the festival. And uh, my prediction is I'm not going to get anything, so I want to prove the Miri wrong. <laughs> <laughs>